Gatekeeper Amps. All right, Mr. Old GK here on this beautiful Tuesday afternoon. We have a uh, another person taking advantage of a, a little side service I'm offering of people trading their used Toshiba 2879s, dot or non-dot, for brand spanking new HG 2879s. And uh, I also will trade 2290s and stuff like that as well. I'll work out something always with you. So basically, uh, we just need to check these bad boys out, make sure none of them are damaged, make sure uh, and check out the HFE on all of them. I got a marker right here to help me keep up with everything. And basically, if all is well, if all is well, if everything, uh, if the transistor has high enough HFE, I always trade one. Toshiba for two HG 2879s. You can't, can't beat that, man. You can't beat that. When I resell the Toshiba or use it for myself, it's a very small profit margin, but there is a profit margin there. I'll be honest with you. If I was uh, stacked up a good in the old bank accounts, I'd just keep all these Toshibas myself and do some personal builds for myself, but that ain't the case. And uh, here in a second, uh, some of these Toshibas have finally started selling, so I'm going to be doing a little video of checking them all and matching them all up together. So here we go. Hopefully I don't need to clean this. Sometimes if I haven't used it a while, i got to get over here and just kind of clean the clean the pads here all right let's get the first one here all right we got an hfe of 10 kind of low now if the hfe is pretty low All right, no leakage. The HFE is pretty low. I'll work out something else with that. I'll usually do like two Toshibas for for one uh, for two. Basically, trade one for one. But as long as the uh, gain is up, I usually try to do like around sixteen to up, maybe a little higher. And I'll trade uh, one for two, like this one, nineteen. Make sure there's no leakage. No leakage. All right, we'll put that over here in this pile. And also, I do. I, I did talk with this individual. He, he, he told me there were a few lower HFE devices in here, and he was wanting to trade them for, I think, a 454 or something. I'll have to check back with him. Ooh, nice, 35. You'll notice the HFE has a lot to do with the other characteristics of the device. That one's good. So this guy right here has already gained himself four HG 2879s. Let me, let, me, let me say it again. Just him with having these two, trading these in, he has gained four. Four HG 2879s. He can now build him a brand new four fill just with trading them two little transistors in. Like my buddy Kevin said, it's like sore, it's like sore meat. You just can't beat it. I shouldn't have said that. Forget I said that. All right, it's a man's joke. I know most of us are men. Twenty-five. Looking good. So you'll notice that as the HFE number changes, the cut-on voltage changes. The amount of voltage it takes to turn the transistor on. Another 25. That's a matching component. Two matching components right there. My son just walked in the room. Who's that for, bud? <laughs> for me, I ain't supposed to have nothing coming in FedEx. Just a little. Ain't no big deal. 
Why, man? Pedophile. Pedophile? What? No, I just don't want to be in your video. Well, I didn't get you. Yeah, I didn't get you. 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 I Yeah, bro, pull that off, bro. It's just weird, bro. <laughs> that's, that's what he says everything, y'all, bro, bro. Well, it's weird, bro. All right, bud. No, bro, pull me off, bro. All right, man. I'm going to report your video. You're going to report my video? Y'all hear this support I'm getting from my son? That kid, crazy joker. All right, that one was good. Actually, I know what that is. That's from ICA. I need to take a look at some uh, stuff right there. They charged me $41. They charged me $41 for that package. So, I wasn't real happy about that. And I gave them a call. And they said they'd refund what they didn't use. So, I'm just going to make sure they did that. <laughs> that was a good one. A lot of these are pretty close and they're matching. 29. No leakage. Good deal. Well, so far, you've only got one low one. And there's another low one. So what I would do with this, if he was wanting all 2879 HGs, I would just trade these two for one. See? Now this one right here is almost missing the second leg right there. So when you have issues like this, So get get all that solder off there. I'll be able to straighten it up. But uh, I wouldn't be able to, even if it was a high HFE, I wouldn't be able to charge like a full price for it. <laughs> Look at that. It's the highest HFE of all of them so far. So this would be one I would have to still just sell for $50 because of that, that little issue with the leg. Cause somebody would somebody would have to add a piece of braid to it or whatever but something like this you know I may just like keep this for myself use it in the one transistor amp or something all right so we are good and good and done here so let's see how much we had here two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen this guy just earned himself sixteen Brand new HG 2879 transistors. Now, let me share this with you. Now, this is retail, y'all. Retail. Here's the price. Here's the price in a linear fashion going from top to bottom. One to four is $32.99 a piece. Okay. Five to eight is thirty nine nine a piece. All right. Nine to sixteen is twenty eight ninety nine. That's how the price works out. All right. If a lot of y'all know me personally. And have dealt with me personally on a one-on-one -on -one gentleman's agreement situation. You'll know that my prices I sell are very. Uh, the prices I sell for are almost like a, a 24-hour day sale or something that I'm doing. But publicly, you have to. You're supposed to be selling for the, at this range. So if you look at it like this now. These are all, these are being traded for 16 transistors that are worth $29 a piece. So you can do the math. So you're getting a good deal. 
with this trade that I'm that I'm offering. Now this is something I can only do as long as these are selling because if these start getting piled up on me, it's taking more more uh, liquid capital away from investing in buying more HG. So it's just something I'm trying to do that's kind of like a constant wheel in motion, you know. But as soon as you know people don't need these as much, I'll have to slow down on it. I think this is like the fourth person so far. So if you do need some HG twenty eight seventy nines, or if you want to trade some some of your Toshiba's for brand new twenty eight seventy nines, just give me a text. Shoot me a text. I'd rather you text me first because most of the time I'm busy. I don't get to talk on the phone much. I usually receive right now. I mean, it's kind of crazy, but I am not actively taking on builds. I'm not actively taking on repairs. I'm not actively taking on any work whatsoever, but I still can receive up to 15 to 20 calls a day on high end. Sometimes I get lucky and it's only four, five, six calls, but a lot, most of the time it's, it's, it's around 20 to, I say 10 to 20, 10 to 20. And if I answered every one of them calls, I wouldn't get much done. Now, it'd be different if I was actually taking in work. I'd have a reason to be answering phone calls. But usually with stuff like this, we can handle all this on text or voice messages. But if you just absolutely need to talk to me, I'll work, you know, I'll, I'll work it in and we'll, 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 we'll speak. But I like to try to do everything with text and voice messages back and forth. Because what I can do is I can respond to those texts in between taking breaks from the bench or taking breaks from shipping and stuff like that and if you need just hg's period right now i'm fully stocked on all hg's except 1446s just shoot me a text ask for a price list oh gatekeeper we can go good and gone bye 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 god bless everybody